in Jesus' name. And so in this beautiful atmosphere, I would like to introduce to you my God, Prophet McLeish and the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. The Holy Ghost and Prophet McLeish, the Holy Ghost is first, yes. I would like to introduce you the Holy Ghost and Prophet McLeish, mighty God, in the name of Jesus, the minister of the word of God, amen, anointed man of God, man of God's son, mighty God, receive him in Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord Jesus, everyone. God bless you, Prophetess Moulton. Grace to you, Mother. Can everyone hear me well? Amen. Yes, we hear you. Go ahead. And the Lord is good and his mercies endure forever. It's truly an honor and a privilege to be on um, Minister of the Word of the Lord. One more time. Amen. Um, uh, the Spirit of the Lord has truly been moving, and I believe that we are in a season and a time where we must increase our prayers, amen, and we must draw closer to the Lord in every area of our lives, amen, hallelujah. I'm a bit nervous, please do bear with me a bit, Um as I deliver what thus said the Lord in Jesus' name. From the other day, the Lord has um, placed a particular word on my heart, and I know the theme that we're dealing with um, this morning, um, newness through worship and thanksgiving. This is what we've been on, and I'm going to try my very best to be in line with uh that particular theme that the Lord has given in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, um, if my big brother is on, Minister Anthony, I'm going to ask you to come in, sir, if you're on, and to just pray in the name of the Lord Jesus um, as I uh, get ready to declare the word of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus, as your servant come before you, mighty God, may you rest your hands upon him. Oh God, may he speak, thus say the Lord without fear. Mighty God, may you reveal to him. Oh God, may he, Almighty God, uncover, Almighty God, and reveal your truth. Oh Spirit of truth, rest upon him, Lord Jesus. Oh eternal fire, burn to him right now, Jesus. Oh the blood along his mind right now, God. Oh God, let's deliver your word to your people. And at this moment, God, as you use them as a weapon in your hands. Oh God, let every fear subside, every nervousness, every destruction. Oh God, may your word touch someone today. Mighty God, may your word go forth and do its work. May it clear an obstacle. Mighty God, may your word be done through your man's servant. I touch your prophet right now, your pastor, the other shepherd. I call Shatai, the angel of this church. Mighty God, may everything, Almighty God, be released upon it now. Oh, God, may he reach his capacity, his full potential to do your work. Oh, God, remove Lord Jesus and make a clear path. Oh, God, touch him one more time. Touch his line one more time. Oh, God, every ignorance, every setup, every setback, every witch, every wala, every plants, every critics, every corner. Mighty God, every loophole. Ah, Koshata, every open portal. Mighty God, every door slightly opened by anyone in the circumference. Oh God, Saturday is a conference right now, Jesus. Your man servant. Oh God, provide his needs. Oh God, touch every aspect of this. Oh God, to remove every argon mark. Mighty God, pour out your blood upon him one more time. Touch his family, his lovely wife, Almighty God. As they mark who the Babo Satan of a Sunday lend to us at this hour. Oh God, cover them, Almighty God. Cover his home, Jesus. Oh God, from every backlash, every retributive spirit, every revengeful spirit, every plan of Satan to counteract him. Bam! The blood of Jesus, he called even now against the forces of darkness. Mighty God, mighty God, I call upon you, Lord Jesus. El Gibor, Marku Shatayama, the cover this man's affair, the war on his behalf as he stands in the gap. Ah, that for your word said, Oh, Marku Shatayama. I look for a man to stand in the gap, and I found none. But I present to you, Lord Jesus, Prophet Pastor Michael, your servant, mighty God who stand in the gap. Oh God, be in harness, Lord Jesus. Cover him one more time as I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
And I call it done. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you so much. Can everyone just shout hallelujah right where you are? If you're able to, just put it in the chat. Come on, lift up your voice. Give God praise in the name of the Lord Jesus. Christ. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. We worship. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We bless you, King of Glory. Wonderful. Hallelujah. We thank you, God Almighty, for the prayers that have gone forth. We thank you, God. We give you honor. Yes, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to be coming to you from the book of Ephesians. Thank you, God. Ephesians, the third chapter. Ephesians chapter three. Amen. And going to look at two verses and I'm going to get myself out of the way. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I don't know why I'm so nervous. I believe something is about to break. Amen. Something is about to break in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want you to declare, I pray with power. I pray with passion. I am, I pray with understanding. I am a lethal weapon in the hand of my God. Amen. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 through 21, it declares, Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us, to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and forever here in that a partial reading of the word of the Lord and we declare thanks be to God um the word that the Lord gave me um mm. last week is uh God has worked out the details it's time to win God has worked out the details it's time to win. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. There is a quote um, by Leonardo da Vinci that says, details make perfection and perfection is not a detail. Details make perfection and perfection is not a detail. Amen. Many of us are very detailed or goal oriented. Um, we have everything planned, yeah? And when things do not go according to um, how we have planned them, then we become um, discombobulated. A lot of times persons, they have a plan A, they have a plan B, they have a backup, they got a contingency plan, amen, for their lives, amen. And when in order, so they're preparing themselves just in case um, failure occurs, they have something to fall back on. But in our walk with the Lord, the Bible declares that the just, we live by faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. We don't have a contingency plan. Our only plan is Jesus. Somebody shout glory. Many of us, we find it hard at times to accept or accept in the experience of losing or, or, or the experience of losing a thing. Losing truly do not, it don't feel good. It don't feel good. Losing sometimes can, um, 
can be a humbling experience. It's a learning curve. Can I say that? Yes, I can. Losing at times can become a teaching mechanism in our lives. Amen. The, 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 the definition of losing is defined as to be mislay, to part or separate from a thing so as to have no knowledge of the place where it is. Amen. When you displace or you lose a particular item or you lose a, a, um, a race, amen, that's an opportunity for you now to go and re-strategize in life. Amen. That's the time for you to go back and retrain, restudy the course, see where you went wrong. Amen. In, in, in the, the, the course that you were going after. I remember when I was learning how to drive Amen. And I went to take my driving test. I had to take it three times. Amen. One, the first time I was very nervous. So I um, did a wrong um, turn. I turned without putting on the signal. The second time, amen. I thought I had the confidence. Amen. But then I failed because I did not park Properly. My third time, I said, okay, Kenyatta, you need to calm your nerves. You need to settle yourself down. Amen. And just remember what you learn. Amen. In your previous experiences. Amen. Hallelujah. Remember what you learned from the book and remember how you drive when nobody is there in the car grading you. A lot of us, we, we tend to fail because we become so um so caught up in the details of life we always want to um perfect this we want to make sure that somebody sees you you want to make sure that 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 all the t's are crossed and the i's are dotted but when it comes to god God is not concerned about your details he's concerned about knowing what is concerning your life amen amen god when we begin to move with him and come in agreement with him come in alignment with him amen everything else concerning our lives uh, hallelujah becomes irrelevant because his life now becomes our life so the details concerning our life becomes his amen he takes full preeminence over us once we have now surrendered ourselves to him amen so yes. on last week as i begin to go through the motion of my life and i begin amen to say god well now i am 43 years old and there's certain things that at the age of 19 that i said i wanted to accomplish that i have not yet accomplished and god is saying that was your details for your life but I already have a plan for you and my plan for you is to prosper you. You are not supposed to know, amen, how I'm going to do it. You just oh got to in this hallelujah to God he, I remember I told you uh, this word I gave you a word and I told you uh, hallelujah that if you be obedient unto me uh, you shall eat the fat of the land hello somebody yes. hallelujah so some of us we are so detail oriented about our lives so that when things go left we lose our mind hallelujah in God, you can't plan because when you plan for a thing, God re strategize your life. Hallelujah. He shifts things around in mm. order for Him to get the glory out of your life. So yes. I was yet learning how to drive. I failed three, two times, God Almighty. But on the third time, I, re I recognize what my weakness is. And I told mm. my you got to settle yourself and see yourself already driving with your license. Come on, somebody. Shout, I got to get out of the way because God is working out the details. Amen. Yes. Amen. When you lose something, 
when you lose something that is of value, it leaves a void in your life. Amen. To lose says that you have become separated from. You have become separated from. Many of us, when we're in school, Amen. I don't, I'm not too familiar with the Jamaican school system because I left there years ago. But anywho, when you're in school and you've studied, I think it's the same for everybody because if you study, amen, you have a you have an aim to pass. You have an aim to pass. When you do your project, amen, you have an aim to get your grade. You know, when I was in school, the thing that I hated the most in school was when my instructors put me together in a group with a group of people that don't have the same passion. Lord have mercy. My God. It means that somebody always have to pick up the slack of somebody else. Are yes. you ready? And when you pick the slack up uh, of everybody else, that means that they're all going to get the same grade as you. Because if you are doing 100% and they are doing 30%, uh, hallelujah to God, and your grade caused the class, the group to pass, uh, they are going to get the grade that you also supposed to get. It's a group effort. Are you kidding me, somebody? That I is... Know. Thing that anybody can ever put me in is in a group setting to work together. Somebody is going to fall behind. And I remember, amen, I had a project to do in college and I begin to work on it. And the, this person begin to fall off. And I said, well, if I don't do it, I am going to fail. Hallelujah. Not only am I going to fail, but they are going to fail. But if I fail, that means I won't pass the class. Are you hearing me, somebody? So somebody's, hallelujah, desire, somebody Somebody's plan was misplaced. They didn't have no desire, amen, to work. They just wanted, amen, to leech off of somebody. But God allowed me to learn a thing in the midst of that. He said, I got to build your character in it. You got to learn to do don't want to do in order for you to get to the place where you need to get to. I know we don't want to pray. I know we don't want to fast. I know we don't want to study the word. We just want God to bless us. We just want yeah. God to come on us. We just want to come on the prayer line and hear somebody praying and we attach ourselves to the oh. right. Tell you it don't work like that. The only person that's going to get the benefit is the one that is crying out before God. You Woo. got to be able to participate in your own breakthrough. You got to be able to participate. Ooh. No deliverance. You got to be able to participate in living holy, walking according to the truth, yes. according to the word of the Lord, submitting yourself unto the word That's of the Lord. Into the instruction. The reason why you don't get your breakthrough is because you're trying to figure out the details when God has already given you the instructions. Mm -hmm. and oh, in three days, you must do this, and your breakthrough will come forth. But because you don't understand in your head, you're trying to make sense of it in your head. Ah, oh, my God. It takes the Holy Ghost uh, to understand spiritual stuff. Uh, yes. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, uh, you won't understand the spiritual instruction. Uh, you just got to work it, walk it out, and follow yes. what the Lord says. Uh, and you will get uh, to be a winner. Somebody declares, uh, I am about to walk in my winning season. Well, I don't have to know it. I just got to hear it. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Hallelujah to God. I don't care where you are. I don't care what lineage you came through. I don't care what, oh, God Almighty, what background you came through. Once the Lord has given you a word, you don't have to know the details. You just got to know if he say it, he is yes. going to perform it. Somebody, know it. Woo, Jesus. Come on, you're, you're preaching. Say that word again. Come on, you're preaching. My God. When you lose, when you lose, when you lose, when you lose something that is of value, it leaves a void in your life. Hallelujah. To lose says that you have become separated from. Lord have mercy. When you try to figure out help me when you try to figure out the details in the spirit that god has released over your life god said listen listen 
I am going to bless you. But, you know, humanistically, we want to know, God, how are you going to bless me? Lord, have mercy. Oh, I was in the book of Gideon, uh, Joshua dealing with Gideon and last night, uh, hallelujah, Gideon chapter 6, and God called Gideon, uh, and God said, Gideon, I'm going to use you, uh, and God said, Gideon, you are a man of value, you're mighty, uh, you're powerful, uh, Lord have mercy, my hand is going to rest on you, uh, I'm going to use my, uh, the Midianites, God Almighty, as one man, uh, you're going to do it because my hand is on your life, uh, Gideon, and hold up Jesus, uh, Jehovah, I don't know who you're talking about, uh, do you know who I am, uh, I am poor, uh, my family's poor, uh, Lord have mercy, and not only are we poor, uh, but I am the least in my father's house, uh, how are you going to use somebody uh, that sees himself insignificant, uh, you don't have to boy, you just gotta trust me, uh, haven't I told you that I will be with you, hello somebody, yes. uh, spoken a word and you're trying to figure out what he's saying all you gotta do is be obedient you're bringing mm. all your requisites unto the Lord God I'm from a broken home my mama don't love me I'm not educated Lord have mercy I'm, I got a broken marriage I had a miscarriage but I told you you're gonna be a mama Lord have mercy oh God the doctors told me that I will not recover but your word said, by your stripes, I am here. Yes. You don't got to know the details. You just got to come in alignment with the word. Because when you try to figure it out, hallelujah. When you try to figure it out, you are separating yourself yes. from as ordained to be for you. Lord have mercy. When you try to tell God, God, I don't, I'm not qualified. You are telling God you made a mistake. You are already out of your breakthrough. But I'm here to tell you this morning, the Bible declares that the God that we serve is mm. able to exceed and abundantly above all that we ask or think. I'm here to walking in your hour, your time, your season, your month, your year of being a winner because God is working out the details, Gideon. You just go up. You don't need a sign. All you need to do is to be obedient. Yes. Walk obedience of the word of God. Live according to his word. Get out of your own way and let God be God and every man be a liar. Somebody yes. open and say, Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord. Lord of mercy. So while the Lord began to deal with me concerning this, mm -hmm. I was walking and I was on the phone talking to uh, my sister and a song came in my thoughts. Actually, I was texting her and a song came in my thoughts. Now, I don't want you to crucify me, but this is going to make sense in a little bit. And the song says, sometime you got to lose to win again. It's a song by Fantasia. And I'm wondering, God, yes, what? Yes. Now in this song to be in my head, Lord have mercy. And the Lord said, listen to this one line. Many of us want to win, but we don't want to lose, Lord have mercy. But in order for you to win, you got to lose some time. Yes. Losing is failing, but failing is learning how to reduce yes. in a perfect way. God. Jesus. Many of us want to be perfect, but in order to become perfected, you have to suffer some loss. Hello, somebody. Hello, yes. somebody. Hello somebody. Mm -hmm. You got to suffer some loss because in, in, in losing, you learn what not to do again. Are you hearing me, somebody? When somebody have lost all their money after mm. they 
had it. Lord God Almighty, and I often say this, if you lose something you had before, that means that you can get it back again. Are you hearing me, somebody? If your business failed and your habit in you to start your business over again, you now have learned what to do and what not to do. That's you don't have to be so, ah, uh, oh God, hammered about the details. Uh, Lord of mercy, uh, we want to have every ducks in line. Uh, but I cannot tell you, uh, it's not having the ducks in line uh, that is going to cause you to be successful. It's your persistence. It is yes. you getting every day and praying. It's you getting up every day and studying the word. It's you getting up every day and say, this day I'm going to fast. Mm. See, in the obedience of the word of God will cause you to become a winner. Can I say that one more time? Consistent in the word of God will cause you to become a winner. God is not looking at your flesh. He's looking at the response of your spirit. Yes. The flesh always fail but when you are obedient unto the word of God you become a winner somebody declare I'm walking in my season of unprecedented breakthroughs yes I'm walking in a season of unlimited potential I'm walking in my season of the turnaround Lord have mercy Lord I just heard this I'm here to declare that God is getting ready to show off on you you are not concerned no more about the details. You are just hearing his voice. My sheep knows my voice. Come on, sheep. Yes. Let me hear you're giving glory because things is about to turn in your favor. God Almighty. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. He's working up. So sometimes you got to lose. You got to lose. You got to lose to win. You got to lose to win. You got to lose to win. One of the greatest track stars that is from the island of Jamaica, I believe he had suffered loss and he trained for over two years to run in less than four minutes, less than a minute. Are you hearing me? He trained. He trained. I may be off with the, with the time, but he trained for just, a, let me just say, for just a second. He trained for over two years. For just a second but we want things right away you want to be successful but you don't want to put in the work lord have mercy mm -hmm. my god you want you want you want to be on the great platforms but you don't even want to serve in your local assembly anyway lord Jesus. Many, many of us we allow losing to define our lives we allow it to stun our growth to block our ability to see. Now, a lot of times when a person have lost a thing, their drive or their stride is broken because they allow what they have come up against to cause them to become stunned. It paralyzes them. But I have come to the place where the Lord has allowed me to reevaluate my position in the earth and my position in him, which meaning now I'm not looking at my setbacks as setbacks, but I'm looking at them as a tool and a mean to get to a place, hallelujah, where I've never been before because I've tried it and I failed. Now I know what not to do and what to do. It has become, it has now become my stepping stone. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah to God. Oh, I've now learned what it means to understand timing. Mm -hmm. Timing. Uh, you got to know timing and you got to learn the rhythm of your heart, the rhythm of your body. If you don't learn the rhythm of your heart, uh, then you are going to always misfire. Lord, help me. Jesus. Lose. 
losing a time. Hallelujah. It prepares you for a greater win because you become more appreciative, uh, more appreciative of the space and the place where you are. Come on, somebody. How many of you have lost a thing? Don't raise your hand because all of us have lost a thing. You have lost in marriage. You have lost in business. You have lost in school. You have even lost in church. Lord of mercy. You said you won't do the thing, but you still went ahead and you did it. Lord of mercy mercy. Hallelujah to God. And you saw what that did to you, God. And you made up your mind and said, God, whatever I got to do, I'm not going down that road again. David said, Lord, only against you have I sinned. He said, take not thy holy spirit away from me. Hallelujah. Have you ever been so close to your breakthrough? God Almighty, you can taste it. You can feel it. But something came and distracted you. Yes. It distracted you from that place. Lord have mercy. And when you recognize what happened, you said, God, if you can get me back to yeah, that man. place, I will not do it again. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah to God. A winner never quits and a quitter never wins. But I'm here to tell you in order for you to win, you got to forget about who is around you. You got mm -hmm. to forget about the details and you got to see God and him alone. Yes. Because when you see him, no matter what, if it's cold, you're walking on. Uh, hallelujah. If you've got to run over broken glass, you're going to get there. Uh, if you're going to stay up all night, you're going to do it. Uh, what yes. it takes uh, for me to get to God, that's what I am going to do. Somebody declare, I am entering my season of winning. Mm -hmm. I'm entering my season of winning. I'm almost done. I promise you. The Lord says, losing for the believers or opportunity to reinvent yourself. My God. You discover your God-given ability to thrive in any situation. He say it again. He said, tell the believers that losing is an opportunity for you to reinvent yourself. Yes. And re rediscover your God-given ability to thrive in any situation. A man is not defined by how much thing he has acquired. But a man is defined by how many times he gets up and he continued to press on in to achieving his goals. I say that one more time. The Bible says that a just man, he fall it, but he continued to rise up. My God. He continued to rise. You are determined a winner, not by how many times you fall, but how many times you continue to overcome, you continue to get up and face your fears. My God. A lot of us, we give up when we try the first time. The business didn't work. I, I can't bother with this. Well, the marriage is too hard. We can't understand this woman. We can't deal with this man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a divorce. But all it takes is for you to get out of your way and say, God, I recognize that there is something about me that is not correct. I continue to fall in this place because I'm trying to do it on my own. Get out of your way. He says, a winner is not determined. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Is not determined, amen, by how many times you continue to, but it's determined by how many times you get up every time you fall. Yes. Getting up. The devil wants you to believe that when you fall, it is over. No, 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 no. It's not over. 
It is over when God says it's over. Yes. Just because you fail or you fail at the business, you fail in your first year of becoming a Christian, you fail. Amen. But a winner is one that continues to get up. Amen. The Bible declares that I am more than a conqueror. More than a conqueror. You can conquer a thing if you continue to succumb to it. You got to get up and face in your Goliath. Are you hearing me? One day, you're going to get the stones that will take out your Goliath. Lord, have mercy. One day, God is going to lay his hands on you and that thing is going to break off of your life. You've got to keep getting up. You've got to keep getting up. The Bible says, and we know that all things work together for them, for them that love God yes. and to them all according to his purpose. His purpose. Hallelujah. Have the understanding that we are able to face any and every situation with a new perspective. We are able to walk in a season and or an era of being a winner. You are not supposed to be, amen, hammered, hammered about the details. God is working. Else, Are you hearing me? God has designed your life to thrive in any and every situation. He has created us in his likeness after his similitude. There is no loser in God. Come on, somebody. There's no Jesus. In God, there is no loot. Let me say it again. There is, I don't care what it is. I don't care what your background is. I don't, no. I don't and has spoken over your life. God, whatever God has said, that's what it's going to be. Man cannot be told the word of God. No, from man said, no science, no island can wipe yes. you parchment paper they can bury you your name your clothing on the banana bush whatever they can do when god hand is on your life no witchcraft power no negative utterance oh. of life can kinder or disallow amen i know some of us are some persons are saying why are these bad things befalling me listen to me learn from your bad experience look at the thing is it that I need to learn from this? What is it, God Almighty? I tried this thing. Maybe you're in the wrong location. Maybe you need to come out of your community. Maybe you need to move someplace else and start oh, your, business. your business. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. Why is it that my marriage is failing? Who are you around? Change your circle. Come on, somebody. Oh, that is in your ears. Sometimes you got to cut off your blood. You got to shut them out in order oh, for to accomplish what God has laid on your life for you to do. Mighty God. Are you hearing me? Mm. On the internet, they have these motivational speaking words, these affirmations, these, these, these mantras. And they say, disappear for three months, disappear for six months. Let nobody sees you. Become dedicate, dedicated to what it is that you want to achieve. Shut down social media. Get off Facebook. Get off Instagram. Get Lord off Jesus. And hone in, focus, get a tunnel vision of your goal, of what it is that you want to accomplish. And in six months' time, if you set that and you work according to it, you will achieve and you will emerge, amen, to accomplish what it is that, it, that you have set out to do. You cannot expect new and you're operating in the same mentality. You That's cannot it. expect, amen, to achieve greatness and you're still operating around the people, place, or thing that has hindered you. If you... Mm. Learn from the things that you have failed at or failed from. You will never mount to the place where you're supposed to be. Some of us become so comfortable in our dysfunction. Lord, help me. Lord, God Almighty. Comfortable in your failure. That you say, 
this is the way my life is going to be. Might as well I stay right here. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. But until you break that, amen, you will never become who God has called you to be. Gideon, get out of your way. Mm. I'm about to use you to become great. But God, I am poor. My daddy is poor. And I'm the of the poor in my daddy's house. I didn't ask you all of that, boy. I didn't ask you if you was poor. Don't you think I know who you are? And if you was raped, if you was molested, I knew what you've been through. But I'm gonna use that oh my God. for glory out of your life. You just got to allow me to work out. Yes. Are oh, you hearing me? You just gotta allow me, God, to work out the details of your life. My hand is on. And I am writing your story. I'm yes. I removing the history and I'm giving you a story. Are you hearing yes. me? Jesus. I know that you have messed up. I know that I know that you failed. I know that you you grew up into some unseen situation. But uh, if you trust me. I am going to make you the head and not the tail. If you trust me, I am able to do exceeding abundantly above oh, all. That yes. If you trust me, I will make your name great. If you trust me, hallelujah, I will put you before great man and you don't even have a Hallelujah. Put you before a great man and all you had was a high school education. I, I will put you before a great man and all you had was just a name, a vision mm. that who is the Lord speaking to? Me, sir. About the details of your life. Because I have designed your life to demonstrate my glory. Hear me. He said, some of us, we are so detail-oriented. You have your five-year plan. I'm not saying nothing is wrong with that. You have your 10-year plan. Mm. Five-year plan come and you're saying, ain't nothing to work out. That's because you didn't plan God into it. Lord, have yes, no oh, we're in that plan. So he says, all right, you think you're going to take the glory for yourself? I'm going to show you what who <laughs> I what do. Because what he desires to do for our life, he must get the glory. Are you hearing yes. me, sir? My life, and I'm, I'm, I'm about done. I'm about to take your time. So take your time. Thank you, Lord. Okay, God. I, have, I had a plan for my life. I said to the Lord, I wanted to be married at a certain age. And I thought I found the wife, not my wife now, but the other one that I thought was mine. Are you hearing me? Mm. I said, God, she, she check all the boxes. She's a pastor's daughter. Amen. And she's this and she's that and da, 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 da. Not knowing that God had something greater for me. And I had everything in the box. And I said, at this age, I'm going to be married. At this age, I'm going to have children. And God said, all right, that's your plan. Let me show you what I have for you. Are you hearing me, somebody? God will allow your plans to fail for his to emerge yes. so that his glory can come forth out of your life. And I believe that if I've gone that route and not look at, what he was showing me, I would not be at the place where I am today. Are you hearing me? I said, okay, God, at this age, I'm going to get a house. And by this age, my business is going to be up. And at this age, I'm going to write a book. And God said, that's your plan. How did I get a house? God did it. But I had yes. to do a situation that caused me to trust and rely on God. I did not know my life was going to turn the way that it did. My God. But remember about two years ago, 
Amen. I got a call to join a prior while we're praying on this radio program. And I didn't know, I didn't know who this woman was, but I didn't know I would need the prayers of the righteous at that time. And COVID swept into our home. God Almighty Jesus. Hallelujah. And things became unraveled before my face. Are you hearing me? My family got uprooted. Hallelujah to God. I was saying, God, but this is not the details of my life. This is not how I plan. And God is saying, all you got to do is trust me. Lord, have mercy. In the midst of death, I saw the hand of God. In the midst of being displaced, I saw the hand of God. Yes. a thought would have stood with me. God said, shut your mouth and say nothing. Don't call this person. Don't tell them anything. God. Don't tell this person nothing. Even when you didn't have nothing to eat, even when they call you to preach, just get on and preach. When they ask you to pray, get on the Zoom, pray, and go back into the closet. Are you hearing oh, me? They don't need to know that you're in one room. They don't need to know that you are living in a hotel. They don't need yes. to know in a borrowed house. Are you hearing me, somebody? They don't need to know that you're at to sleep on somebody's me back. And God but, this God, but God was working out the details. They didn't have to know, hallelujah, that you are on the verge of committing suicide. Lord Jesus. Go ahead. You walk, you took the elevator, hallelujah, in the in the hotel down into the lobby, and you saw the street and you begin to walk up. And God said, What about your children? Are you hearing me, somebody? God was working out the details, even when I did not understand what was happening in my life. And all he said was, Trust me. Yes, Holy Ghost feel. Yes. Uh, yes, the anointing was on my life, uh, but yet still I went through. Uh, I didn't know how things were going to work out, but all God said was, trust me. Uh, yes. Man was on the verge of breaking up, uh, but God said, trust me. Uh, children looking at me and saying, daddy, how is things going to work out? Is this the place where we're going to be for the rest of our life? Uh, and I'm saying, God is going to provide. Uh, pressure on the left, pressure on the right, uh, and all I had a, was a word from God. Uh, he said, I am going to provide for you. Uh, yes. I said, God, I don't know how it's going to happen. Uh, and all he said, all you got to do is trust me. Uh, somebody, you want to know the details, uh, but God is saying, trust me. Uh, you don't got to know somebody. how you're going to walk it out. Uh, all you got to do is able to hear his voice. Uh, if you can hear hear him, then faith will come. If yes. you can hear him, you can walk through darkness. All you got to do is hear the voice, close your eyes and say, God, speak and I will come. Speak and I will follow your voice. Hallelujah. And that's oh, what doing for me. I was walking through the dark season. God Almighty Jesus. I didn't know if I was going right or left, but I always had to put a smile on my face. I always had to try and say, God, it's going to be all right. Even when I yeah, felt like my belly, that hell was breaking loose and God turned it around. Come on, somebody. Ooh. When you're going through hell, you won't see, hallelujah, the outcome, but you will hear his voice. So I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will hear no evil. You don't have to know the details. You just got to trust him. How is this conference going to be paid off? You just got to trust him. If he give you the word, then he is able to do exceeding and abundantly. If he told you that you're going to be a millionaire, you don't got to know the details. You just got to trust him. If he told you that you're going to be the first in your bloodline, you don't got to know the details. You just got to trust him. You are looking at a testimony. I yeah. am not yet, but I'm here to tell somebody that is my time to win. It is my hour to win. It is my season to win. Yes. Earth and Ephesians 3.20 God, the God that declares if you can think 
it, I can do above it. Mm -hmm. But I can make you greater. Yeah, I can do greater than what you ask. You just gotta trust me. Hello, somebody. And when you're going through, you will never know the power that you got until your back is against the wall. You'll never know the worth of your prayer until you your back is against the wall. Some trust in hats, chariots. Yeah. Some in horses, but I will remember the name of the Lord. Yes, be to God. Back is against the wall. David said, Lead me to the rock. That yes. is I want to know how strong you are. Hallelujah. Every time that you fall, hallelujah. If you want to know how strong you are and how anointed you are, you are not anointed when you're on the mountaintop, but wow. you're and when you're down in the valley, in the valley that he restores your soul. Hallelujah. Killed warrior. When you're placed in the heat of the battle, don't back up but face it. Don't dress back but face it. Forward will. It's Jehovah's will. I don't know who the Lord is speaking to. This I myself. But I'm here to tell you, you don't got to ask for a sign. You just got to trust yeah. him. Somebody. Your season is turning. Oh, oh, God. My God. God of yesterday. Yes. yes. Or today. And your hour of breakthrough is now. Open oh, your God. and give him ando. Shatai, katai, lepan, secundai, shetaman ziban sotoria. And give him glory. God, I love you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Glory. God. Hallelujah. What many sees as a reason to give up. He said, those who have placed their trust in him will see it as God working out the details. Lord Jesus. He said, what many sees as a reason to give up. Mm. Others who trust in me see it as me. Working out perspectives will change your course. How you view a thing will determine how high you go. Anyway, can I declare to about 10 of you that is on here? That's all I need. Just 10. Just 10. That the details, and I'm done. We prophesy this that the details. That God is working out in your life. Mm. It declares that you're already a winner. You have already overcome your way. I receive it. Can I declare that you are the finished product of the spoken word? I receive it. It's time for you to manifest. It is time for you to become the Gideon in your family. Defy the odds. You are already a winner. Don't worry about the details. That is not for you. What is for you is for you to trust him and walk out as a winner. Somebody declare, I am a winner for I am already victorious. Come on, open your Bible. I receive it. That God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all, Mine. they ask or think according to the power that works in us. To him be glory. Yes. In the, by Christ Jesus to all generation forever and ever. Can I tell you, and I'm closing right here, that because of what he's about to do in your life, generations will 
speak about you. I receive it in history as one that failed but emerged as a winner. Come on, somebody. They will, they will not know the back end of your story. They will just see the glory. Come on up yes. in here. I declare it to you today. Hallelujah. That God is working out the details. And he has worked out the details of your life. You are a winner. It is your time. I love a Sunday. And when a person wins, it means that they have outlasted everybody else. Lord Ibu Shanda Bahasaya. They outrun everybody else. Come on, somebody. Where do you want to be in God? It takes discipline. It takes courage. It takes a winning mindset. Mm. To get, you've got to see yourself. As how God sees you in Jesus' name. Heaven bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Back into the hands of the mud. Ibo Shama Ketaba Hoshaya. Bless you too, sir. O Shende Ketori Bihinsi Bahaya. La Pande Kutundi Bahashimande Ketoshai. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I break the spirit of failure. In the name of Jesus, I break it. I break it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth today. Come on, open your mouth. Magnify King Jesus. Hey, Baba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Upon in the room and give him glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, God, yes, God, my God, can take you. Jesus, God, bless you, God, bless you, God. At this time, I'm going to ask. My God, I'm going to ask Mr. Glenn to pray for the speaker at this time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise for this morning. We thank you, God, for the man servant you have used to dispense the word. God, you have used him, oh God, Jesus, to let us know, God, that losing God is not the, the, the last res result, oh God, in us, our, our, us progressive, oh God, to newness. Lord God, we understand this morning by the preacher, God, that you have us in mind all the time, God. It's just for us to focus, oh God, on where you want us to go, God. Lord Jesus, we 